Hi everyone, this is Dunko. In this video, we are going to talk about the Apex Arena Season 6 tier list. So, actually, it's pretty hard to get the accurate tier list for Season 6 because uh, there are so many characters that you can play, and there are going to be uh, a lot of different styles um, in Season 6. So, yeah, and uh, for sure, there will be a lot of changes from Season 5 to Season 6. Um, because of uh, a couple of new characters, including one of the biggest counter to AoE strategy and debuff strategy, which is going to be a Rizzo Seal. Um, yeah, she's just a, a disaster to all the AoE teams, so uh, of course she's going to be the SS tier. So if you still want to play AoE, yeah, like trust me, if you still want to go with AoE style, uh, you are not going to first ban Juggler in this case. You are going to first ban Resocial, and then uh, you will think about how to get through the Juggler barrier, uh, either through the heal block, debuff, or whatever. But you have to um, ban Resocial. She is going to single-handedly destroy your AOE um, progress. Yeah, no matter you are trying the debuff AOE or the damage AOE. Uh, this is a huge counter to you. So yeah, this character just basically shifted the meta a little bit. Uh, the AoE strategy is so died after she released. Um, but then things changed a little bit just because uh, a couple of like other characters are released as well, including uh, our new tanks, which is Helda and Albedo. So Resocial is kind of limiting the power of AoE strategy uh, uh, these Albedo and uh, Hilda are trying to limit the single target strategy. Uh, actually, the hardest tank, the hardest tank that is, uh, in like that, that is to kill in this game is Albedo. Like, if you try to use a, a you know a melee attack to kill Albedo, uh, if everything went right, I mean all the RNG went into Albedo's side, then you are probably never going to kill her. So yeah, so this is also why season six is going to be interesting because uh, you have all the methods to deal with single target or AOE. So um, to plan ahead and uh, like before the game to play the game very carefully, to treat the game as a chess, like some players said, or to uh, do some mind games on you know what class to use, what character to use before the match is going to be very very essential. And of course, it's going to be very hard to get a consistent win during the regular season. Uh, but there is still a tier list. Uh, although there are different strategies, there is still going to be a tier list. Uh, this is just because a couple of characters are just going to be better than the other characters. So you can still do the debuff team. So uh, the king of debuff is never changed. It's going to be still Ruin. Ruin is still going to be the king of debuff. And uh, you can indeed use Rain to get through Juggler. It's not that hard. Rain can apply heal reverse, heal uh, heal block. Those are super super essential, uh, like super super useful, even when there is a Juggler. But now getting through the you know uh, the, the the barrier is a little bit harder because uh, yeah you will indeed face like Juggler if you are going to use an AOE strategy because you still have to first ban Resocial. Yeah, if you let Resocio went through, then your debuff is not going to matter. So, yeah, Ruin is still the debuff king, and we also have the, uh, the, the you know, the very old character Bozo and the list tail. They are still contributing a lot, as I, as we discussed. Uh, you have to think about a method to do the heal block or heal reverse. So those are your choice as well. And uh, uh, Arena Hound is going to join the. Uh, it's in the Langrisser Tensi faction, so after Hilda joined the party, then uh, you get the faction buff for her pretty easily, so you can pick her as well. Uh, and also the reason that I say those ag aggressive characters can be your first pick is because uh, there are so many good tanks in this game, you can actually use a 3 tank or 4 tank box. So if you go 3 tank box, then your opponent is not first banning your uh, tank, then you can pick a very aggressive character. If you go for like 4 tanks, 
then you will definitely first pick an aggressive character first. So those are the like the debuff characters. Uh, Lico is uh, not as good as the other, but still, um, if you have her, you don't have other replacement, then you can still use her. Uh, Shelfonio is going to have 3C scale, so that 3C scale is actually um, fairly decent, but Shelfonio always have her own issue, which is the mobility issue and also pretty easy to get killed by assassins, so uh, there is that. So, and uh, uh, if you try to move on to the single target strategy, uh, this is going to be a little bit harder just because of all these tanks getting released, but still, um, in this case, uh, you are not trying to look for a character that can one shot your opponent team. So you are more of like trying to find a character that can allow you to do a more sustainable battle. Like Elven who can revive, um, and like Yulia who can revive and also heal. Uh, like Wataru who can travel very long distance and also uh, be very bulky. So those characters and also uh, the Lolly Jessica as the magical single target damage dealer uh, that can act again and also teleport, very very strong character. So in this case, uh, just uh, a lot of like new uh, characters are going to replace the older ones, like the new SP, SP class for Elven makes him very very OP again for single target strategy. Uh, Yulia is pretty nice now, um, especially if you have uh, your gospel characters picked. And then now, because Elven is so good, um, Glory Faction overall is very strong. Um, so Yulia is pretty good as well. So if you are using Yulia and you want to use like four tank strategy, although I didn't rank Lady as like very very strong character, um, but if you want to use a Yulia box. Uh, and also you want to try the four, four tank strategy, so you can first pick Yulia, then you can also include the Lady in your box. So this is kind of a comeback from the Glory character. Uh, it's just a, a lot of characters are being pretty OP there. Uh, and also, yeah, those single targets. So the new single target characters getting released, including also Mario, are just better than the older ones. Uh, this is why you see like Chloride and Natal Mystery being ranked later. It's not like you cannot use them anymore. It's just, uh, for example, Natal Mystery was very, very strong during the meta when only Land Use and Juggler are available. So if you ban Land Use, then uh, opponent basically doesn't have a real, uh, you know, magical card. But now, if you still like want to use that of mystery, uh, not only land use, but also Albedo and Hilda are going to counter the magical attack as well. So that of mystery, uh, in the end, is not going to be that useful anymore. And also, yeah, uh, Claride, yeah, if you have Albedo picked, I don't know what Claride can do over there. So. Uh, those of like uh, those kind of like uh, previous characters are just uh, not as good as the new characters like Votero, Lolly, Jessica, Mario can also actually be a sniper. Uh, so yeah, those characters are just uh, better than the others. This is why they have a relatively lower ranking. So this is basically how the tier list is made. Like uh, the the top tier characters are in the S, S or S rank. And uh, the kind of equivalence uh, lower tier characters are still trying to do the same job as the first tier characters, but they are not as good as the top tier. So, and then we can move on to the kind of rush strategy. So, yeah, if you pick a juggler, uh, you pick a, a S tail, you pick AKA first, and then uh, you are going to be the aggressive side uh, usually in this game. And then, of course, uh, Iris is always pretty good. Warner can um, be a sniper, uh, and also having very long distance travel distance, pretty nice. Zoreda with the 3C skill saves you some skill points, so you can bring something like the passive um, to further increase her attack, so that is going to increase her kill potential significantly. But if you are using Zoreda, I just want to mention that uh, don't get uh, trapped by 3C scale. Sometimes 3C scale is good. Uh, for example, if you want to kill Juggler, 
then using 3 scale is pretty good. But a lot of times, Zoroida still have a decent kill potential on like low uh, mage characters or you know very low defense characters. So just to make sure that you don't trap yourself with the 3C scale. Because 3C scale, if you use that, um, pretty much your Zoroida is going to have like one chance uh, over like three turns. So have to be very careful on the timing to use the 3C scale. Uh, like uh, SP Sigma is another character that is getting uh, very, very popular in the Chinese server uh, just because his kill potential improved significantly because of the uh, ignoring the troop ability. So, but usually SP Sigma is going to result in a trade. So uh, that's pretty good. If you can trade the critical character with your opponent, then that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, if you're trading with Sigma with some like wrong character, uh, it may not be as good. So something to really keep in mind uh, is to use the Sigma to trade with the character uh, that is blocking your win condition. So this is very, very important. Uh, Florentia is going to be more OP in next season. I would say pretty uh, as OP as Liana. Uh, and also Florentia is pretty good in a rush box. Uh, just because she can increase the mobility, she can also act again. Uh, she's also pretty good in Hilda's like, tank push box. Uh, just because with faction buff, he, uh, Florentia is going to be uh, very, very OP. So, um, yeah, this is basically uh, the rush strategy. So, usually AoE rush is pretty hard. Uh, for example, you can do AoE rush uh, with our Fireman, do a lot of fixed damage, but you have to make sure your opponent is not having a Breather team. And also, you have to uh, make sure that you uh, ban characters like Resocio, uh, otherwise it's going to be very, very hard to achieve. So, yeah, the rush strategy in next season is getting a little bit hard. Uh, the assassins usually, if they can kill, then it's probably going to be a treat. Uh, and uh, a lot of cases, the characters are very very bulky or have extra life so it's not very very easy to find a kill so overall in season six i think the rush strategy uh, overall is now is not as strong as the previous season and uh, the slow game and uh, you know play very very carefully with your positioning uh, is going to be more essential so uh yeah for like specific box so if you are trying to really really tank against uh, some like uh, single target players you can always put more tanks into your box uh, if you are like trying to uh, use strategy faction characters or empire faction characters then you can put landfound or born into your box respectively and uh, if you want to rush um, I think Eggbird is a pretty interesting character. I mean, he can teleport and then use AoE uh, within a turn, so that looks pretty OP. Uh, also can do like the heal block from Eggbird. So it should be pretty good, but uh, not many players try Eggbird in a Chinese server. So I hopefully we will see some global players try out the Eggbird 3C scale. Uh, he really have issue to kill a lot of characters in season 6 but if you feel like you can kill uh, like in playoff like if your opponent is just using squashy characters or all then you can still go with Hihei so if you have if your opponent have a lot of like Lancer units Leon Heart is always good to have for example if your opponent is using something like Astail uh, like a Lancer and Naran Hunt then um, Leon Heart is always going to be a top choice uh, and also if your opponent's uh, character is lack of skill uh, you can still try Omega so yeah use key if your opponent doesn't have a tank to be honest uh, uh, in season 6 uh, a game without a tank looks very very hard just because all the characters like SP Sigma, SP Elven, uh, like Lolly, Lolly Jessica uh, it'd be hard to imagine how you can win a game without picking a tank, but 
if you do meet some, if you do meet some players, um, besides like SP Elvin or like um, you know Mario, a lot of Jessica, you can also have use key as well, of course. But a lot of tank is going to use blood pet on their accessory, so overall use key is not going to be that useful. So if you are fighting against a lot of like demon characters, like people try to increase the survivability or try to increase kill potential using like demon Zareda, demon Hihei, um, yeah, then yeah, you can use Maya as a counter as well. It's going to work pretty effectively. So this is uh, overall how I feel about Season 6. Uh, this tier list, uh, I think, uh, is pretty making sense, but as I said, a lot of characters are going to be useful. Uh, there are more than 15 characters are beyond like A level, so you have a lot of options. You have to uh, be very sure about what kind of strategy you are going to go. Are you going to go for like 4 tank strategy? Are you going to still try to uh, play the AoE style? Are you going to be um, playing a mixed box? Are you going to focus a lot on the long range assassin characters? Those are the questions you need to ask yourself before uh, you play the season six matches. So yeah, this is all about this video and hope everyone still enjoy the Apex Arena in Aggressor Mobile. Peace.